from Citizen Suburbs, another quick video for you. Sunday, it is 11-22-2020, uh, welcome aboard, good to see you. Um, looks like uh, the Patriots took one on the chin today against the 2-7 and seven Texans. Um, probably to be expected, but um, I do have to say that uh, the Patriots played great today. They, they, it was a real old-fashioned football game, and I'll I'll take that. Um, Cam Newton completions, 26 out of 40 attempts. Um, he threw for 365 yards with a 65% completion rate. Um, he threw for an average of 9.1 uh, yards with zero interceptions, two sacks. But when I watch this game, I, I, I have to say that <laughs> it was not the fault of the players. Really bad coaching. Just bad coaching. I mean, um, some of the things I saw today were just like, are you kidding me? People in a, not in the right place. And it's just, it was a, the players did not lose this game today. It was the coaching. Um, let's go to our local uh, COVID update, okay? So we're looking at it right now. Uh, in Massachusetts, and you folks can see this, um, newly reported cases, confirmed cases, 2,721. And this is as of Sunday, real time, right here, guys. Sharing it right with you. Um, probably not, but you you know, just go to mass.gov. All right, well, well you, you, I'm not reporting anything differently than, um, than that's not reported by the state of Massachusetts. Um, but, you know, it's all this, the, 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 Estimated active cases, 39,073. New reported deaths among COVID, 24. Average age of deaths, again, hasn't changed. 81 years old. Um, so, again, um, I, I don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going anywhere for breakfast tomorrow. I mean... In, in terms of I'm not going to eat and share food and um, even though the numbers I look at these numbers I say okay you know the chances of uh, someone like uh, uh, myself getting the corona um, is really good but the chances of me you know being chopped down like a tree are pretty low doesn't matter Okay, now we're getting into Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, holiday travel. People are still... <laughs> I'm looking at this right now. And, and people are still traveling on the airlines. That, yeah. I mean, a period. Stay where you are. Nationwide. Just stay where you are. You know? Um... I'll be home for Thanksgiving. I'll be home for Christmas. Ugh. Many Americans are eating, joined family and friends for Thanksgiving. Face another risk calculation as they wait, scraping travel plans. plans. <laughs> Scrapping travel plans, by the way. Um, you know, so you're on an airplane. We, we've all seen these, you know, <laughs> people using their face masks for an eye shield. Um, <laughs> we've seen that. Um, but every day, there's something to talk about every day. 
um, that has always plagued us and it is a ferocity on the roadways okay six million car accidents per year okay um, that's roughly 16,438 cases per day I'm talking about how precious life can be of these cases 22,470 one caused only property damage over over 37,000 Americans die 37,000 every year persons die <laughs> in automobile crashes right I, I have to say I've seen some crazy stuff over the last nine months so let me just say to you guys right you wear your mask you do this but do you always do what you're told or you do what you should stupidly be doing all the time <laughs> so thanksgiving you know i mean i'm at home we're at home i love my family i love uh let's make sure that we, we next year maybe the year after what's going on right let's be safe here okay we can have thanksgiving we can do this and the other thing is that uh you know again there'll, there, there will be emerging practices coming out of this uh, schools now have learned school systems have learned that you don't have to take a snow day anymore i'm sorry kids but uh you know i mean i'd rather you know do the 180 days during the regular school year as opposed to if even if i'm a parent or a, or a student you know um it's great to have a snow day i grew up with snow days i love them but the mandates were so different back then in the 60s and the 70s but you know maybe there's some platforms that we could take away and help uh america who struggles so much with its education it really does i mean when you see us ranked on uh several different levels on our math our sciences and things like that but but you know conversely we do supply the world with a great educational <laughs> our great educational institutions um anyway blank let's go federal nonsense um peaceful transfer of power what is going on in our federal government i i do not know um it seems like it's legal but uh it, it just seems you know for me um it's such a it's such a what's going on right now in our federal government is it's baby cry baby crap it really is it has nothing to do with you and me right and three four five months ago three four five years ago it had everything to do with you we want your vote well right where's your vote right now ah god you know i'm telling you man um i am embarrassed right now there was no peaceful transfer of power at all and uh i mean i've been voting since i was 18 years old just turned 57 yesterday <sighs> anyway guys do your own math all right you guys Take it easy, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.